Yo, what up YouTube, it's Rain. Now, ma, 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 ma. It's not even in time. But anyway, so what these are, are the Air Jordan 3. Uh, they call it retro, but obviously retro because, yeah, you know, yeah, exactly. But what these are, these are the Air Jordan 3 International Flight. Now, I'm not 100% on the story. Now, I, I thought that these were because um, Michael Jordan... I swear it was a, a something to do with a game that they played when he was travelling around the world and they scored a lot of points. And maybe he broke the backboard as well, but they're not the shattered backboards because then that would be a different trainer, innit? But um, something along those lines. I, I, think, I think Michael Jordan turned into an ambassador for the sport and went around the world doing various... Ex anyway, who cares? Well, well, not who cares. I know there's some of you that like that stuff, so I should probably do it. Ah, it doesn't matter. I'm not going to do it. Anyway, box. Boom. Air Jordan International. Now, what I see this becoming is uh, <coughs> a whole range of stuff. You know what I mean? They'll, they'll, what, what the Jordan brand are quite good at doing, and I'm just going to put this in shot so you can have a look at it while I'm talking shit. What the Jordan brand are good at doing is re-energizing silhouettes with a backstory for it to, and then you, you kind of believe it and buy into it. So, hence these. Um, historically in the background you can probably just see the shattered backboards there was no link I didn't know that they was going to be there or well, they've been in there for the last six reviews but hey ho I really should move them shouldn't I they won't be there in the next one but um oh Levi's just released on end clothing if you want them anyway um, so they have a habit of re-energizing silhouettes or or brands within the brand via stories and little nippiness and all that kind of stuff uh, and i say nippiness when i say nippiness is just a slight augment to a trainer and then calling it something different and then you buy into it oh this is going to be the pre-game fours and it's go it's going to be the colors that he his underwear were was when he was playing in the game in 94 or whatever. i don't know you know what i mean you, you, hopefully you get it but anyway let's get into this so these are them um and there are some nice details on them. There are some nice details on, on, on the trainer. Ultimately, it's probably not picking it up, but it is an off-white kind of magnolia kind of um, um, white material. The leather is very, very tumbled. Um, high quality, yeah, very high quality. Let me just zoom in. I think my, it's just it's three o'clock. You can just see the top, you can just, if I do that, you can probably make out the tumble better. Can I get in closer? Boom scan, you've got that HD. So rare, you can just see it across the side of the it's it's the trainer is actually perfect. If you think about stitching, materials, potentially could it be classed as a PRM. The white or the off-white, the red and the blue helps the trainer to kind of pop a bit. And you go around to the back portion of the trainer, and you'll see it in HD, it's got that jump man. Someone's phoning me and I don't know who they are. Um, back port, bottom portion of the trainer, you can just make out blue. And then you've got the um, red. The air unit color is the same color as the upper. Um, and then actually in the trainer, you've got the um, Air Jordan International tag. I'm telling you, they're going to make this into something. I, I guarantee they're going to do a four or they're going to do something like that next. Um and then you've got, uh, well, you know, the signature. Boom, on the tongue. It's not a proper signature and it can rub off. The laces are that magnolia off-white colour. In essence, it's a nice trainer. It is a nice trainer. However, if you've got the... There's other silhouettes which are probably better. Um, and there's other things that you've probably got in your collection. That means you don't need these. Um, one of, the, one, one of my bedrooms that, I, that is in the trainer game, some, some of you might know him, Dwayne Van Williams. Um, he calls stuff like this cannon fodder. What he means is, is that there's other stuff that's coming out that's better than this, but if that stuff wasn't coming out, you'd be running for this. <laughs> Should be, hey, I'm, hey what? I'm going to start rapping, Rude Boy. Did you hear that? 
Can't even remember what I said, but you, you get the gist of what I'm saying. It's like if this released three years ago, when there wasn't much coming out from the Jordan brand, it would have sold out instantly. But because there's so much other stuff going on, the off whites, you've got the Yeezy stuff coming out, you've got the Air Max One Paras coming out, you've got the uh, well, yeah, all of that stuff coming out. You're not really interested, you know what I mean? But anyway, I'm not gonna dwell on it anymore. It's a nice trainer. If you've got, if you haven't got a lot of threes, this is a good entry three. And you still can get these. I don't think they're sold out. But um, like even the sole, like the sole just lends itself to kind of like a retro feel. I don't know why. Maybe it's just the color blocking of the blue and then the the red there. I, I really like it. Um, like even like the detailing inside. Can you just if I can just zoom in? If you just look on the, you can see stars. On the lining it's like stuff like that the actual lining on the inside of the tongue isn't that felt material which you see on normal Jordans it's like a nylonish material which means it will get dirty quickly and hold the dirt but it's just it's just a lot softer and a lot kinder and it just spells PRM but anyway I'm digressing talking other stuff which I shouldn't be talking it's rain the mama 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 and I'm signing out let me know your thoughts See ya.